girls welcome back to my channel all things Brie so I wanted to come on here today and do a review on it's my Ray Ray palette that I just received or not received that I just purchased not too long ago on this palette so I am doing a dramatic look today with this palette and her original palette so <clears throat> and this is the completed look that I got I don't know if you guys can see. So, yes. I wanted to come over here and do like a dramatic um, half cut crease with both of her palettes. And give you my honest review on the particular palettes itself. First and foremost, I love It's My Ray Ray. So for her to come out with another palette more on the colorful side is amazing. So <laughs> I did went ahead and did a review on this palette. So this is more, you know, for just eyeshadow. I did eyeshadow today, not the face, but the eyeshadow look. So if you're interested, just please continue on watching whichever way I go and okay. welcome back to my channel so I already did my eyebrows off camera because you know that takes forever so the main focus is the eyeshadow look and I want to play with the new palette the it's my Ray Ray palette this is if you guys don't know this is her uh, second addition to her first collection that she had um, let me show you the original one. Of course, this is the original one. I love this one. This is more of like the matte pink. And this one contains highlighters and uh, contour colors. But this one just is, is just an eyeshadow palette. And both of them bring different um, colors and everything like that. I love this metallic pink. It's really, really, really pretty. So I am so glad that she went ahead and did something different with this one instead of just trying to make it the same as this one um, as far as like the packaging and everything like that. So this is the palette. Well, I'm actually going to be using both, but I want to show you this palette first, of course, because this is the new one. Ooh, I hate that glare. And these are the colors. <sighs> really, 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 really pretty. And I'm so glad that she incorporated um, not just matte colors, because she has matte, you see at the bottom, and then matte right there. And then she has um, the metallic colors as well to the matte ones at the bottom. So let's see. Let's do some swatches really quick. Start with this one yellow, because this this is at the bottom. Let's see. We'll pull up on the camera. Ooh, that's very pigmented. You can see that. That's just one swipe. Uh, let's do this one. Let's see. The yellow is canary. The second one is, what is this? More like a, a mauve purple, mauve purplish reddish tone flare. This is the color flare. Ooh, one swipe. That's really pretty. Ooh, let's do this purple. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, that purple is it's gorgeous. I love the color purple. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Okay, let's see. Let's do the... And of course, the metallic shades that go along with the matte colors at the bottom. So I tried this once already, metallic showgirl color, olive green color. So I have played with it a little bit. And I just want to go ahead and do another uh, eyeshadow look with the new palette. Let me go ahead and play with it some more and get a, a really good review on it. Again, I love It's My Ray Ray and I know that she has really took her time and make sure that she perfected well not perfected but make sure what she wanted on here 
as well as the last one. Let's go ahead and get into this tutorial so you guys can see for yourself first hand just in case you haven't gotten it yet and just in case you want to see if you haven't seen any um reviews about it if you want to look just keep on watching now since i am doing a dramatic look um i've been using this trick for years because i want it to be like that sharp sharp very sharp look i use tape on the corner corners of my eyes. Ooh, this shit got hair on it. <laughs> Good. I hate that. <laughs> Let's see. I like to use tape and I put it at the corner of my eye. I know it looks weird. Like, why the hell is she using tape? Trust me, if you want that sharp look, you use tape. If you, um, of course you can do it with concealer just to get it sharp, you can just cut it with concealer, but I don't like to do that because sometimes I feel like I'll mess up. So I just use tape. Using my MAC brush, my 224 brush. And out of the new palette, what colors? I am doing a dramatic look, so I'm not doing anything like colorful today so let's see i want to try let's do brick first let's see yeah brick is more of like a lighter um color than spice spice is more orange and i want something a little bit lighter so use let's use brick this is brick it looks more orange on the camera, but it's not. It's a little bit more subtle. It's a little bit. And let's see. I'm going to use the mirror. And I'm so glad that it has a mirror in here. So just in case you want to look in here, but be more precise, get up close and look over here. So I'm using brick in my um, crease area, the crease area. Since I have more of hooded eyelids, all this extra space up here, my crease is like right there and sort of just look along with me and I like to use window <clears throat> wiper motions I do like this I do it like this first like that and then I go in and do like circular motions and I like to don't press your brush too hard all the way up in there like that do it more soft and subtle at an angle instead of doing it like this i do mine like this i for, for me i feel like it works better that way and we're gonna do the other side Tap, 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 let's see, windshield, windshield wipe emotions like that, all over in your crease area, and then of course, go back in, do circular motions inside and out, in between. <laughs> all, I don't think all the palettes, no becomes what majority of the palettes that she has made Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is a really good um, blend brush it has the more fluffier one on the side which I'm about to use and then the this one for more dense areas condensed pack on areas so the next color I am going to use is da -da -dum, da -da -dum, da -dum. more of the Control Freak on the old palette. <clears throat> I'm gonna put that in my crease as well because we're going to darken the area. <sighs> and I like to start right here and I don't go all the way in sometimes. I just go from right here, if you can see, right here to right there. A little bit, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And this color is just gonna 
Oh, shit. <laughs> Crap. And this, this color, sorry for cursing. And this color is just going to darken that area. Just in that area. Boom. Okay. Other, same side. I mean, other side. Same thing on the other side. And these colors do have fallout, unfortunately, but I'm not a stickler. Now, if it's a lot, I'm like, well, damn. I hope this shit don't be like waste. I hope it doesn't be like a waste of an eyeshadow. But for this palette, it's not that much, but it is gonna be fallout. <clears throat> if you guys are wanting to know. And it's on the same way with that one. For for this one, the first one is more fallout than it is for the second one. So that, that's good. Maybe they got that under control whenever they were working on it. So it's not bad. This is old, super, super old. I've been having this brush for five plus years. This is like a super old uh, BH Cosmetics blending brush, fluffy brush. I love this brush. And what I would like to do is I just make sure I go like and make sure everything is blended together. Blended. Blended. use that brush later on too. Now, MAC 217 brush. Do, 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 do. And I got freaking ink on my freaking fingernail. I don't know how I got this on my fingernail. And now it won't come out. So now I'm going to have to wait until I go get my nails redone so this stuff will come off. <sighs> Irritating. But anyway. Okay, so the next color... I'm going to use is I want to use I want to start with bark and then go in with what is that Keiko Keiko Coco so I'm gonna start with bark first but bark is gonna be on the this is more like a light brown color on the bark I want to put bark right here starting from right here and condense it down here so right here and then we're gonna bring it down in this area because what we're gonna do a little bit later on is do like a half cut crease just a half cut crease a little bit The same thing over here bring it down it was in the inner corner we're gonna do like a little cut crease over here And I'm going to put in um, uh, bark again. And we're going to make sure this blends the bark and the um, eyeshadow, inner eyeshadow blends in. So I'm just going to tap, 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 blend, 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 shade it in.
Okay, I'm thinking, should I do? I feel like it is a dramatic look, so I might as well go ahead and do um, a darker shade, which I guess I'll do Black Beauty, but it's only gonna be just a little bit. I'm not gonna do, 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 but it's called Black Beauty. Black Beauty, ha ha ha. Okay. Not gonna use a lot, but I am going because I do want it more uh, deep um, in the inner corner. So I'm just gonna do tar tar tar. Lightly, I mean lightly, I mean lightly. Well, some of that black in. You can take these off. Mm. You see how it's like already. So I won't have to do um, do much on that. So my face is on um, foundation, um, highlight and contour eyelashes so now i need to highlight and do the bottom the rest of my face not too much left so now what i'm going to do is i guess i'll go ahead and do finish my under eyes i'm gonna go ahead and do um some eyeliner some black eyeliner for my under eyes since this is a dramatic look and lately I haven't been putting um eyeliner up under my under eyes i don't know why and i haven't been putting eye um eyeliner on top either as far as like my wing and stuff i used to do that all the time and i haven't been doing it lately i need to get back to that if you want to see a tutorial on how i do um a wing liner well i have to show you i'm gonna show you guys what it looked like but yeah so let's go ahead and do um under eyes Hmm. I mean, I shut it in that much. Uh, get some concealer. And this is the completed look. I wanted to test out the new, uh, do a dramatic look, but test out the new. It's my Ray Ray palette. And so far, so good to me. Personally, I don't have any um, cons necessarily about the uh palette itself i of course i didn't use all the colors but i use like these top colors and this color and of course i want to do a tutorial with these other colors because i did have used this one the purple for the millennial tour that i went to and then this color as well for that tour um and as far as the payoff it was really really good payoff I don't know, I haven't used this and I saw when I was watching earlier that it was so good. But other than that, I can't really have or I really don't have anything uh, negative to say about that or, yeah, about 
this palette in general. I love Ismay Red Ray anyway, and I'm support her regardless um, whatever she comes out with. And it's a really, really good palette. This one, of course, more is of like warmer tones. And this offers, she's offering you more warmer tones and um, fall colors, plums and stuff like that. Of course, on top of highlighters and contours. And then she just came out with a more colorful palette. So you can't beat that. Uh, to me, you can't beat that. And especially when it comes with the mirror too as well, because a lot of them don't. I love that. And BH is a staple, you know, cosmetic brand that I've been using for years anyway. So I, you really can't go wrong with um, either one. But if you want to go, <clears throat> if you haven't went out and gotten this or looked at it, what are you waiting for? I mean, I got it. So you need to go out and get it too. And it did create or help create this beautiful look. You really can't see the <laughs> my eyes now because these big old eyelashes. But yes, I love it. And it's only like less than $20. And if you go to it, it's in Ulta. Instead of having to buy it online, shipping and waiting and everything like that. So it is in stores as well. Um, I am going to have a review up for this hair. So it may be up before this tutorial, after this tutorial. So you can see this was my birthday hair that I had. And it's really, really cute if you like this. So stay tuned for that as well. Um, I'm naked. <laughs> but um, other than that, yes, it's this. I love this look. More dramatic look. Anyway, especially for, you know, going out at night, date night, want to go party or whatnot. So, and I hope this helped as far as like the blending whenever I was going through that and everything like that. But other than that, this is the final look. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to, of course, subscribe, subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, like and share and tell everybody you know that of course you want to see something a baddie on a budget some do reviews and stuff like this or this palette in general or her other palette. if you haven't even got her other palette come make sure you tell them to come watch my video but until next time see you bye